China's recent decision to halt the export of rare earth technologies has sent shockwaves through global industries, particularly in the realm of electric vehicles and renewable energy. Imagine a world where the fuel for our technological advancements suddenly becomes scarce. China's recent export ban for national security is a stark reminder of the fragility of our global supply chains. In this video, we'll delve into the ramifications of China's export ban on rare earth technologies. Rare earth metals are vital components in various high-tech applications, from electric vehicles to military equipment. We'll explore why China's move has significant implications for industries worldwide and what it means for the future of strategic material supply chains. Join us as we uncover the potential challenges and opportunities arising from China's export ban. Understanding the impact of this decision is crucial for stakeholders across industries, from policymakers to consumers. Stay tuned to understand how this export ban could affect the availability of rare earth metals crucial for electric vehicle production and renewable energy technologies. We'll also discuss potential solutions and strategies for mitigating the impact of China's dominance in the rare earth sector. Don't miss out on this critical discussion shaping the future of global industries. China's recent decision to halt the export of rare earth technologies carries profound implications for the global landscape of strategic materials, particularly within the electric vehicle, defense, and renewable energy sectors. This move reflects the complex interplay between national security concerns and the strategic significance of rare earths in advanced technologies. While the restrictions do not directly impact shipments of rare earth products, they pose challenges for efforts to develop the industry outside of China. Rare earth metals, including neodymium, dysprosium, and praseodymium, are indispensable in manufacturing various components of electric vehicles, notably lithium-ion batteries and motors. As the world transitions to electric vehicles to address environmental concerns, the industry's heavy reliance on China for rare earth metals poses significant challenges. China's virtual monopoly on rare earth metal production, with approximately 35% of known reserves and over 80% of global production, grants it substantial influence over global supply chains. Past incidents such as the 2010 rare earth crisis underscored the vulnerability of industries dependent on China's rare earth metals. Now, before we get into the details of this, let's understand what triggered all this. China's action indicates a trend towards deteriorating relations, which could pose challenges in sourcing metals for batteries. China's decision was followed by the US's restriction on certain computer chip exports to China and Europe's consideration of tariffs on Chinese steel and aluminum. Additionally, there's a new consumer EV tax credit with clauses that could exclude vehicles manufactured using minerals sourced from China. Now, how does it make a difference? Rare Earth Elements REEs, a group of 17 crucial elements used in manufacturing various high-tech devices and green technologies, are indispensable in modern applications ranging from wind turbines to EVs to military equipment. The current state of the EV market reflects a broader issue of oversupply and lack of consumer interest. Dealerships are inundated with unsold EVs, despite efforts to lower prices and offer incentives. The high cost of EV ownership, including expenses for home chargers, insurance and repairs, coupled with concerns over safety and reliability, has deterred many potential buyers. Reports of EV fires and quality issues linked to Chinese-made components have further eroded consumer confidence in the technology. As the EV market faces its biggest crisis yet, consumers are urged to reconsider their purchasing decisions. With EV prices expected to rise due to supply chain disruptions, investing in traditional gasoline-powered vehicles may offer a more practical and affordable alternative in the short term. However, the long-term implications of relying on China for EV production raise concerns about geopolitical leverage and market dominance. The ban on exporting related technologies introduces a major hurdle for Western countries seeking to develop their processing capabilities. This is particularly critical for heavy rare earths, essential in high-tech applications such as EV motors and medical devices. In response, Western nations are intensifying efforts to bolster their rare earth processing operations, but they face challenges, including technical complexities and environmental concerns. The impact of China's export restrictions extends beyond the EV market, affecting the development of renewable industries like solar and wind energy. As nations pledge to triple renewable energy output by 2030, the demand for REEs is expected to surge, necessitating substantial investments in battery manufacturing and grid infrastructure. Now here's an interesting twist to the story. President Biden's involvement in this crisis raises questions about political agendas and their impact on the middle class. 
Despite warnings from dealers and automakers, Biden's push for strict emissions laws and support for EVs seems to align with China's interests rather than those of the U.S. His recent veto of a law aimed at supporting American workers in the EV charging infrastructure industry further complicates the situation, potentially slowing down the adoption of EVs while benefiting China's supply chain. China's dominance in the EV market further complicates the situation, as the country is both the largest EV manufacturer and sales market. Any tariff hikes imposed by the U.S. to counter China's dominance could disrupt supply chains and hinder the growth of EV industries globally. To mitigate these risks, diversifying supply chains and investing in alternative materials and recycling technologies are imperative. Countries like Australia, the United States, and Canada are ramping up efforts to develop domestic rare earth mining capabilities. Additionally, advancements in recycling techniques offer a sustainable solution to reduce reliance on new mining. Ucor Rare Metals, UCU.V, said on Thursday that it had finished commissioning of a demonstration plant to test its own rare earths processing technology, which is being funded in part by the U.S. Department of Defense. New technologies will be needed to outmaneuver the Chinese grip on these important areas, said Ucor CEO Pat Ryan. In December 2023, the Select Committee on the Strategic Competition between the United States and the Chinese Communist Party published a report titled Reset, Prevent, Build a strategy to win America's economic competition with the Chinese Communist Party. It recommended that Congress should incentivize the production of rare earth element magnets, which are the principal end use for rare earth elements used in electric vehicles, wind turbines, wireless technology, and countless other products. Specifically, it advocated that Congress should establish tax incentives to promote U.S. manufacturing. There exist substantial global reserves of rare earths beyond China, with significant percentages located in countries such as Vietnam, 19%, Brazil, 18%, India, 6%, and Australia, 4%, collectively constituting nearly half of the world's supply. Notably, these are nations with which the United States and its allies maintain friendly relations, presenting ample opportunity for diversifying sources. However, the urgent expansion of domestic processing capability is vital for safeguarding national security and energy independence. To achieve this, leveraging industrial policies such as tax incentives and fiscal subsidies to alleviate the costs for processing firms becomes crucial. The United States' delay in developing processing capacity poses a threat to its ability to bolster both national security and economic stability. This delay is attributed to two primary factors. Firstly, China possesses technical expertise in rare earth processing that surpasses that of other countries. For instance, it holds a significant advantage in solvent extraction processing, an advanced technique that Western companies have struggled to adopt due to environmental concerns. Secondly, while various separation, processing, and manufacturing facilities are currently under construction, their completion and full operationalization can take several years. The recent implementation of significant export restrictions on graphite, gallium, germanium, rare earth extraction, and separation technologies within a short time frame should serve as a stark warning to U.S. policymakers. Despite being late to the critical minerals arena, there is an urgent need to establish domestic capability swiftly and engage in international cooperation to expedite the sourcing and development of processing capacity. Collaboration among countries and companies is essential to address the challenges posed by China's export ban. International agreements and partnerships can secure access to rare earth metals, while fostering innovation in alternative materials and recycling technologies. Ultimately, the resilience and adaptability of the EV industry will determine its ability to overcome the obstacles posed by China's export restrictions and continue its journey toward a sustainable future. In navigating these challenges, Asian countries with ambitions in EV and green industries must seek ways to minimize supply disruptions, perhaps by maintaining cordial trade ties with both economic giants. However, building self-reliant green industries, exploring alternative mineral sources, and investing in technology innovation are crucial steps toward mitigating reliance on China's dominance in the rare earth sector. The rare earth dilemma highlights broader concerns in international trade and geopolitics emphasizing the need for diversification and resilience in critical supply chains. Strategic measures, combining immediate tactical responses with long-term planning, are essential to ensure a stable and sustainable supply of these vital materials. China's decision to halt rare earth technology exports marks a pivotal moment in global strategic dynamics, prompting Western nations to redouble efforts in securing alternative sources and technologies. The path to a secure and independent future in the rare earth sector requires concerted international cooperation and strategic foresight.